Hello and welcome to The Journey, WCTV's only faith-based show. I'm your host, Rachel Pellegrino. On today's episode, I'll sit down with a leader from Waynesburg's ministry outreach group, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. We'll learn more about their plans for this semester, and then we'll take a trip to one of their weekly meetings. Later in the show, we'll have my word of encouragement. Sit back and relax. You're watching The Journey. Have you ever been to the Everly Library? If not, you should, because it's great. They have books of all different genres. History, biography, fiction. Try The Evolution of Life, Life of Pi, or Jurassic Park. So what if books aren't your thing? Try movies, like Frozen, or TV shows, like Lost. Books and DVDs aren't the only thing, though. Take a trip to the second floor. Welcome to the Writing Center. These tutors will tell you everything you need to know about writing a paper, and they'll help revise your essays. Now let's head back down. Behold, the Knox Learning Center. Need to print something out five minutes before your next class because you procrastinated? No problem. You can also print off pictures of dogs. Because, well, you can. So grab your homework, laptop, and textbook and study diligently. Bring your lunch, too. Actually, you can't. That's illegal. Now you know the Everly Library. Stop by any time. Seriously, it's open all week. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes is a nationwide organization that creates fellowship through combining two passions, faith and sports. FCA serves local communities around the globe by engaging, equipping, and empowering coaches and athletes to unite, inspire, and change the world through the gospel. Wayne's University's FCA group meets every Tuesday at 9 p.m. to accomplish this mission. Today, I'm joined by one of their leaders, Marina Hastings. Welcome to the journey today. So I kind of just want to start off by talking about um, how long you've been involved with this group on campus. Um, so I started joining FCA just by um, attending meetings and stuff freshman year. I didn't actually play a sport then, <laughs> um, but I just was like, I did FCA in high school. And so I was like, I think this is a group that I would really enjoy. Awesome. And can you just kind of describe like what a normal meeting day would look like for FCA? Right. Um, so the first 10 minutes-ish, we play games, uh, just like we have like a basketball, frisbee, soccer ball. You can just, it's like recess. <laughs> um, and then we play an actual more uh, rule-based game. So we'll play uh, knockout or um, don't touch the trash can. So you like stand in a circle and you don't have to touch the trash can or you're out. Um, so silly games like that. Um, and then we'll like bring it in, have a group discussion. Um, someone will mainly lead that in some devotional type way. And then we'll break out into smaller groups um, and talk about it in a more intimate, smaller dynamic. Um, and then we pray and we have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Always, always a good snack. Um, yes. <laughs> and then you said you've been involved since freshman year. So I guess um, over the years, what would you say has changed from your perspective? Um, so going into um, FCA my freshman year, we had a lot of soccer athletes. Um, and so we have expanded a little bit more um, to baseball, um, track, um, obviously there are still soccer players there, um, softball, we have a couple of football people there as well. So our variety of people has grown and so that's been awesome to see. And then you, um, like I said, you're one of the leaders for FCA, you're actually the president this year. So um, what exactly is your goal as president moving forward? Like you said, at least from freshman year, you've gained a lot of different athletes. So would you like to keep that up moving forward this year? Yes, so our goal is to reach um, the other smaller teams such as lacrosse or tennis um, and then see a bigger presence of softball and baseball and football and, um, to reach coaches as well. Awesome, and then what would you say, um, in your personal opinion, your favorite part of FCA through all of the years that you've been involved? I love getting to know all of the athletes um, and seeing where they're at in their lives um, and then going supporting them at their sporting events. Awesome. And then um, I guess what over, um, overall does this program mean to you? I talked a little bit about um, FCA's mission, and you also said that you were involved previously before Waynesburg. Um, so overall, what does that mission personally mean to you? Uh, I think it's so important to meet people where they are, and sports are a very great way to do that. Um, and so I think combining sports and then just the gospel is just a different dynamic than a Bible study um, with a bunch of just Christians, but this one is just, it's athletes, and so it just kind of is a different dynamic. 
And so and I love that. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but no, I was going to no. say, how do you um, how do you incorporate what you're learning at FSA and talking about FSA into each and everyone's sport that they're um, that they're involved with? Um, so it's kind of harder with more individualized sports such as like tennis or even like cross country or something like that, where that's a more like individual, but you all come together as a team. Um, so that has been a little bit difficult um, trying to incorporate both of those aspects, but we try to. Bring, like look at it as like education, how we do academically, um, sports, and then just in our normal lives, um, because those are pretty important in our lives right now. And so we'll ask questions pertaining to those specific areas of our lives to try to help students and think about how that works. Awesome. And I guess like personally for you, how do you um, try to incorporate what you're learning at FCA into the sports that you do? Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I think that's a lot of like just teamwork and keeping your head up and because I think a lot of what you do, um, other people will catch on. Awesome. And then I guess what message would you um, try to that you, would you try to share with other athletes uh, on your team or just at FCA in general? That's a hard question. <laughs> uh, um, or I guess like just to rephrase it, what other um, have you ever if you presented at FCA? Because I know you guys have a lot of students that also um, present at FCA, and you kind of go around and take turns sharing different messages. Right. Um, so I think my thing is um, working hard. Um, I think working hard is important in your sports. And then I think it's also important to work for the glory of God. And I think that's sometimes hard to do. Um, but I think it's so important um, just daily and then also in your sports. <laughs> awesome. And then moving forward, um, you guys just don't um, host meetings. You also have some events that you guys try to host as well. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about um, some events coming up for FCA? Yeah, so we are having an Ultimate Frisbee tournament um, on, it's very soon, we kind of just decided to put that out there, <laughs> um, Sunday, April 3rd, which is this Sunday at 4, and so we're doing groups of 6 to 8, you have to have at least two females on the team, um, so we're actually going to be playing down at Wiley, um, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, we haven't been able to be on a field um, because of COVID, so this is exciting. Awesome, and then did you guys um, previously do this um, events like this before COVID? Since you did mention you haven't been able to do it. Right, the past yeah. Years. Actually, um, this was the first year that we've actually held an event. Um, my last um, semester, we did a spike ball tournament and it was very small. Um, but yeah, so before COVID, we, I had never heard FCA here doing that. Um, and then obviously COVID made things a little bit harder to do anything. <laughs> um, so this past spring and this semester has been the first time I've known that FCA has done that. And how would you say um, these events help FCA um, continue to grow on campus? Because it is um, a little bigger than just like a regular meeting hosting that. So um, do you think it helps reach other athletes on campus by hosting these events? Um, I hope it does. <laughs> the first one, uh, I was kind of just like a hit or miss. This is the first time we've ever done it. So it was just kind of um, see what works and what doesn't. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this one will bring in a few more people and just get the word of FCA out on campus. Awesome. I guess like from your experience, um, uh, like we've been talking about, just kind of being able to get the word out to other students and athletes on campus to join FCA, what would be your advice to um, some timid students that are a little bit shy um, and um, a little shy about joining FCA? What would be your advice to them? Yeah, um, come, <laughs> uh, bring a friend or bring a couple of friends. Um, and then, I don't know, like, I don't know <laughs> what else to say. <laughs> Yeah, and then I guess um, uh, we are going to be stretching leadership um, for FCA mm -hmm. um, next year. So can you talk a little bit about that and what that means for FCA? Yeah, so currently we have six members uh, that are on the main leadership team. We have added another person, um, and Grace Ingram is our next president. Um, so we are kind of exchanging that right now, um, how that looks for her. Um, and she's going to do a great job, I know, leading FCA. Um, but yeah, so we have like more definite roles, <laughs> um, which is something we didn't have um, in the past years. So I think our structure is going to lead us into a great uh, next semester in a couple years. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today yes, thank um, and you. talking about FCA. Um, I hope your um, the Ultimate Frisbee Tournament goes well for everyone. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Up next, we'll take a trip to one of FCA's weekly meetings. Don't go anywhere. You're watching The Journey.
Waynesville University's Fellowship of Christian Athletes meets every Tuesday at 9 p.m. WCTV's Riley Holsinger was able to attend the event and spoke with participants. For those that heavily follow Waynesburg athletics, these sounds are uncommon. Baker, breakaway, Anton Baker slams it home! Lob here to Fuller, Fuller's layup falls. Yellow Jackets up by two. On Tuesday night, the one sound that comes from Waynesburg athletes is them preaching the goodness of the Lord. Rather than take advantage of bold pass for the win, he caught up to Matui, put his arm out, and guided him. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes at Waynesburg combines their love of their sports with their love of religion. So I always look forward to FCA, honestly. It's kind of the highlight of my week. I just love being able to meet new people. I love when people bring new friends from their sports teams. Um, I love when we have um, just small group time after a speaker has spoken and it's a great time to just grow in relationship, grow in our faith. And then it's always just fun to play games and um, yeah, just kind of hang out, de-stress from all of life. And it's a fun way to play sports without the pressure of sports um, that we kind of feel um, during practices or in games. These athletes and coaches compete on the field and even sometimes during the meetings, but they always put their competitive natures aside to focus on the glory of God. It's important to me because um, it's, it defines who I am. Off the court, on the court, so yeah, it's definitely important to me. With Waynesburg being a Christian university, some believe that it's a great mix between sports and faith here. Yeah, so I play tennis and I've always had a strong faith and I wanted to be able to incorporate my faith into my sport and find ways to grow. I think, I think having a Christian presence within athletics specifically is always good. Um, like ath athletics are, are a competitive sport, they're, they're competitive, so sometimes it's, the Christian faith can get distracted within them. So I think it's helpful having a group of like-minded people who are all on different sports. We have a variety of people on different sports here, but, but everyone is under that still understanding that while we compete, we still want to go show good sportsmanship. Waynesburg women's soccer player Maddie Hill looks at it as an opportunity to grow as a person and teammate within her own faith. Christ calls us to like love our neighbors as ourselves. Um, and so I think just like as an athlete, like being loving to my teammates and encouraging my teammates and like uplifting them in their sports and just like setting a good example of, of being a Christian and like being a light to those around me. Head women's basketball coach Sam Jones is serving in his first year as a senior advisor and is fired up to lead the program just like his basketball team. And it's been really enjoyable. We have a great uh, leadership group of students and uh, just trying to help guide them through the process and hear them out. And, I mean, they do, honestly, they do most of the work, but I just am a part of it. And it's uh, trying to help it grow and, you know, have more athletes be uh, stronger in their faith and practicing a little bit. When it comes to speaking, Jones may think... No one likes to public speak. Anyone who said they like to public speak is a liar, even media guys. Um, <laughs> even with his dislike of public speaking, Jones may have a different mindset on public speaking during FCA meetings. You know, I, yeah, I enjoy it. I do because I think, um, you know, there, there are mentors in my life who, you know, have just shared their life with me, and I think it's important you know, I'm usually pretty open and honest, so I think it's important just to to be able to talk through that and just have someone in your life. I, I enjoy that role, so yeah, it's something that I enjoy doing. He doesn't try to put on a fake he face either. You know, I just I just try and be me, and I just try and live my faith and live who I am, and try not to change too much. I mean, obviously, you know, I don't. When I teach class, I don't get as mad as I do in a basketball game. <laughs> but um, uh, you know, it's just I just try and be myself and. and Works and all, and hopefully I can learn through that and they can learn through that. One of the learning points for students, a part of FCA, is noticing all of their relationships they have built through the club. I think it's just like, we have a really good time, um, and I've made some really good friends through FCA, um, and it's just super cool to like come here and be a part of the community of people that are athletes and are also, also like-minded in their faith. I think the relationships, just being able to come here every Tuesday night and have fellowship together and then just be able to, to talk with each other and, and, and grow with each other. 
Women's soccer player Grace Ingram is excited to take over as the president of FCA next year and looks to grow the club by numbers and spiritually. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to just yeah continue working with all of us on the leadership team. I'm excited to have Michaela Osborne join us on the leadership team. Um, yeah, I'm excited to grow in relationship and to continue to grow FCA. Marina's done a really great job, and so I'm excited to just learn from her and kind of pick up the momentum that she started. FCA holds meetings every Tuesday night at 9 in the Rudy Breeze and Fieldhouse. All are welcome to attend. The club is looking to grow with its outreach on campus and on social media. I think just growing like our following on social media um, and so like when we're putting stuff out there like more students at Waynesburg are seeing it um, and just like promoting events that we're having and like our meetings on Tuesday nights and stuff like that. I would love if we had more like outreach. Um, we've been trying to implement that more. So like this Sunday down at Wiley, we'll, at four, we're having an ultimate Frisbee tournament. So we're hoping to, so that's something new that we're starting to implement here, like spike ball tournaments. I think um, COVID kind of shut all that stuff down. So just trying to get that revamped and remind people that FCA is here because athletics is such a big part of the Waynesburg community. And so just um, finding those individuals who are looking to incorporate their faith in their sports or learn more about what does mean what does it mean to play for an audience of one meaning what does it mean to play for the Lord and um, play for the people that are on the teams Hill has one piece of advice to those interested I'd say just come like we have a really good time and like everyone here is super nice and I don't know we like it's fun reporting for the journey Jesus. I'm Riley Holsinger All are welcome to join the Fellowship of Christian Athletes for weekly meetings and fellowship with your fellow athletes on campus. Meetings are Tuesdays at 9 p.m. in the Old Gym. Up next on the journey, we'll have my word of encouragement. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching WCTV, where we aim to bring you the best local coverage of what you care about most. Everything from local businesses to hometown sports and the latest weather. We're keeping up to date with what you need to know about issues that affect our campus and our community. We're telling the stories that matter, celebrating our past, our future, and our potential. So tune in for all the latest buzz right here on WCTV Channel 14, Waynesburg. As the spring semester dwindles down, the anxiety of graduation slowly settles in for graduating seniors. In less than a month, the graduates will walk across the stage shake the president's hand and receive their diploma. It'll be the final gift to commemorate the past four years. But what happens next? What happens after graduation? As a graduating senior myself, I've been trying to answer this question for the past few weeks. And let me tell you, it's stressful. College graduation ends one chapter of our lives and begins the next. But unlike our childhood years, we are in control of what happens hereafter. If you're anything like me, you're sitting with a blank page in front of you, words scribbled out, not knowing where to begin. In times like these, I think it's important to remember that each and every one of us is called to a vocation. Whether it be a professional occupation or living out our Christian life, we are tasked with figuring out the so-called essence of our existence. When determining our life's principal meaning, questions like what am I here for and what is my purpose in life are common. Even though it is stressful finding answers to these questions, I find it freeing to hear that what you do with your life is up to you. The only problem is you have to find that purpose yourself. So how do you do that? The American author Howard Thurman once said, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. So go out and find what makes your heart full, what gives you hope and what challenges you. All of these discoveries will lead you to your true purpose and assist in writing the next chapter of your life. Matthew chapter 6 verses 33 to 34 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all those things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Good luck and congratulations to all of Waynesburg's graduating seniors. You will eventually find your calling, but have faith in God and trust the process. Thank you to everyone who made this episode possible, and thank you for tuning into this week's episode of The Journey. Good night, and God bless.
This has been a production of Waynesburg Community Television.